Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rosalba, a new illustrator and writer of children's books in the UK. Today, what this is going to be about is again a continuation of my previous video in which I have been working in two paintings. So what I'm hoping to do today is to work a little faster because the last time I was a bit too slow. So this is what I'm going to be hoping to achieve today. So if you have a look, uh, this painting has been drying for a day. So I realized that I need to work on um, perhaps deeper tones because I can see some of the details have gone a little lighter. And uh, so I will be doing that with watercolor. And at some point soon, I will be finishing off the outlines with this pen, which is, um, I work in the, the eyes with this and um, around the, the, the shapes of the animals. And it's water and fade proof pigment ink. I like this and it's 0 0.5. I will be removing the blue um, mask, which I have put on the eyes and finish the eyes, as you can see here. Uh, so that will be something that um, I'll be doing today. I'm hoping to do that. And uh, I'll work on the actual background, the flowers, the plants, uh, and on this side as well. Uh, just, I'm, I'm really hoping to do as much as I can and perhaps even finish it if it has dried by then. So I'll show you at the end of the day what I will have done. So I've got my cup of tea ready to get some fuel <laughs> for the day. And I'll show you in a while, in a few hours, hopefully a completion or as much as I can of, of the, the paintings today. So thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. Welcome back. Right, it has been about five hours since I started today and I think I have finished. So you'll be pleased to see the end results. So if you can close up again and you'll be able to see The creature, the little creature is finished, and the raccoon. Um, I went over around with a, the black pen, as I told you before. It's a point liner, water fade resistant, 0.3 in some of the areas, and 0.5 in some of the other areas. So the animals also are finished with all the details around the eyes and teeth and and then the ones over to the side as well i think you can see all the expressions of the animals which are they're very very expressive and um, and then on that side as well now if you have a look at the full uh, page here you will probably see, well, you're going to see lots of space on this side and this side. And that's because there will be some text here. So that's why I decided to leave it quite plain here. Not much going on, otherwise it'll be difficult to fit in the text of the story. Well, yeah, what, what's going on in the story here, what they're saying to each other. And then we have this other page here, this other painting. And uh, again, you can see the work of the mixed media there with the fine liner pen, uh, the plants and grass. And then over here at the top, you're going to see again the little creature all happy and excited walking with his friend, the raccoon. And again, you'll see the, the sky and the and some trees there, a couple of trees. And again, it has got that sort of mood, you know, it's getting dark and that's why it looks like that. In terms of the text, again, it will come, it will be put in this section here, which is why, again, I left it quite plain. There will be some text going on 
here. Uh, and that's the final results. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you, you like it. I have certainly enjoyed doing it, painting. And uh, I have one more painting to do to finish the fourth book. And hopefully at some point I'll give you some news as to publishing the book. All right. Thank you so much for coming to see me again. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.